After the year 2024, those with low incomes who receive SNAP benefits, which are also referred to as food stamps, will receive back pay. In this very video, I have all of the information that you require at your disposal. Over 43 million low-income Americans receive SNAP benefits on a monthly basis across the country. These benefits are also known as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, which is also sometimes referred to as food stamps or EBT. In this video, we are focusing specifically on SNAP benefits. There is a deadline approaching as of the end of September this year, and as a result, I want to make sure that you take advantage of this opportunity if you have not already done so. I would like to discuss back pay and the ways in which you can take advantage of it because time is running out. What you need to know, as well as the fact that I will be providing you with a phone number right here in this video, you are able to call in order to establish back payment of SNAP benefits, however. Before I go any further, I will explain all the specifics, including who would be eligible. For back pay of SNAP benefits and the circumstances that would make you eligible for this. I want to break all of this down for you because the rules have changed, and the rules are going to be ending in just a matter of months, at the end of September this year. Let's get into it because we have a lot to talk about, and I want to get back to you because I want to explain everything. We appreciate you watching. Please do yourself a tremendous favor and click the subscribe button that is located below this paragraph if you have not already done so. There's a lot going on right now. 2024 is the year of the beneficiaries who have low incomes or fixed incomes, as I have stated in a number of other videos. Back pay, benefits, food stamps, EBT, or whatever we choose to call them are all topics that we will discuss today. It seems that everything is discussing the same thing and nothing else. All right. In that case, allow me to quickly go over the specifics and provide you with some background information on this matter. You are not going to make this into a history class. That is for sure. Prepare your books in advance. Let's get right down to business. This is what took place in the month of December in the year 2022. In December 2022, lawmakers passed a law as part of the full funding bill for 2023 that stated the rules would change from October 1, 2023, sorry, October 1, 2022, to September 30, 2024. I am aware that it has been quite some time since this occurred, but I assure you that it has been a while. In the event that an individual's SNAP benefits were improperly taken away from them, this meant that they would be eligible to receive back pay. I can see it. Even though it is still a few months away, what do you think? Are you certain that September will arrive in a short amount of time? Indeed, it does so every time. All of a sudden, you know? Everything passes by so quickly and the summer passes by so quickly and we are like, Hey, what? Credit! I pause. May I ask where the year went? And do you concur? To put it another way, that is what is taking place here. As of right now, we do not know whether or not something like this will occur again. In any other case, unless it is made abundantly clear that it will be extended once more, I believe that it will be coming to an end. It is highly probable that it will come to an end at the end of September this year. Therefore, we ought to really make the most of this opportunity in the event that it does occur. Having said that, allow me to briefly shed some light on the current situation. What I mean is probably not foreign to you. Take, for instance, the petrol station as an illustration. All right, you most likely heard about this in the local news in your area. It's possible that you've heard of this before. Despite the fact that it has been around for quite some time, it is becoming significantly more widespread, particularly among individuals who possess ABT cards. It should come as no surprise that electronic benefits transfer, EBT cards are an easy target for hackers due to the fact that their security measures are not as robust as those of a credit card or debit card. And do you concur? In any case, allow me to explain what is taking place. I'm sure you're familiar with these handheld devices that are capable of skimming, right? A small device is essentially placed over the slot where you swipe your credit card, debit card, or EBT card. This slot is located in the middle of the slot. It is possible that you will not even be aware that it is present when you swipe it in, and by doing so, it will collect all of your information. The person who placed it will eventually return to collect it, and they will have all of your information, including the date the card expires 
the details on the card, your personal identification number, PIN, and other information. When they take your money, it is a terrible thing to happen. In any case, here is what is taking place. These small skimming devices are making their way into grocery stores, which are places where people like you and me buy food and swipe our debit cards, credit cards, and yes, even our EBT cards. Now, here's the issue when someone uses their EBT card at the register and one of these devices is installed in the small kiosk. 